The other week, I went and filmed a dump that had been out of use for many decades. As I sifted through the rubbish, I wondered about these thousands of objects and what they once meant to people. Some other less important thoughts followed, ultimately resulting in an idea. I returned to my car to get a pick and got to digging. What I wanted to try was something inspired by a Japanese process known as Kintsugi, even if the philosophy was all I was really using. Kintsugi is the art form of taking broken ceramics and piecing them back together while highlighting their imperfections. I dug for some time to find any pieces worth using. I was looking for half to three quarter pieces as I thought these would create the best effect. After about an hour, I had a small pile that I thought had some potential, and headed back to begin the next part of the process. It begins with thoroughly cleaning the pieces to remove any dark spots. The RevoPoint Mini 2 scanner they provided me gets better detail from clean, white surfaces. I initially tried scanning these straight after washing them, but the small dark spots were giving me less accurate scan data. Close, but you can see there's pretty clear pieces missing. To remedy this, I took chalk and rubbed it along the edge of the piece, and this resulted in much cleaner scanning data that I needed. You can see just how much crisper the edge is appearing. I took my time scanning several angles and combining them in the software to get a more complete mesh. I load this into Fusion and correct its orientation. I needed the most complete part of the mesh to be lined up with an axis to make this next part easier. I'm doing what's called a section analysis, which essentially allows me to see a slice of the part. This gives me a cross section of my scan. Using this, I deduce what I think the whole form might have been using the geometry I have left over. This sketch can then be revolved to create something pretty close to the missing pieces of the object. I export both files again and load them back up in Blender, as it's far better at mesh work. After some small touch-ups, I apply a boolean modifier to subtract the old geometry from the new, leaving me in theory with what I need to print. This took a few attempts to get right, but I'm happy with this result. It's not perfect, I definitely got the scale a bit wrong, but you can see how close fitting it is with how it fits into some of the smaller cracks and chips. Traditionally, the gaps in between the pieces are glued together to highlight these imperfections, but I'm choosing to have a close fit as I think it makes a better effect here. There is of course no point to this process, so to speak. It's art, it doesn't really need one. I'm using my final result as a small planter. I filled it with some moss I collected earlier, and some random plant from the garden. I think it's actually a pretty visually striking object. Overall, I'm happy with the result and had a lot of fun doing it. I've spent a couple of weeks rebuilding much of my workshop, hence the lack of videos, but I've got a lot of stuff lined up. Thank you to my patrons, and to you, as always, for watching. <laughs>